Now to a surprise deal between the United States and Iran that will free five imprisoned Americans in exchange for releasing billions of dollars in frozen funds. CBS's chief foreign affairs correspondent Margaret Brennan on why some are criticizing the agreement. As the first step of President Biden's deal with Iran, these five Americans were transferred from Tehran's notorious Evan prison to house arrest. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. My belief is that uh, this is the beginning of the end of their nightmare. The prisoners may be back on U.S. soil as soon as September. For years, the detainees' families have urged President Biden to just bring their loved ones home. My dad just said, Dad, like, let him come home. Businessman Imad Shargi was taken in 2018. So was environmentalist Murad Tabaz. The brother of businessman Siamak Namazi, imprisoned in 2015, today called the past eight years of imprisonment horrific. Two other Americans whose names are withheld will also be released. The breakthrough comes amid tension. Earlier this summer, the U.S. sent additional warships and Marines to the Gulf after Iran attempted to seize two oil tankers. Today, the White House declined to detail the deal, citing negotiations as both delicate and ongoing. In exchange, Iran will be able to access $6 billion in a restricted account in South Korea. Those funds will be transferred to Qatar. Once there, Iran will be able to use those funds for purchases permitted under U.S. sanctions. Now, the White House said this is not ransom and no U.S. taxpayer dollars are involved. But in the meantime, Iran claims that the U.S. will also release and pardon five Iranian prisoners. As of tonight, Major, the U.S. says no one in U.S. custody has been released. With the context and the details, Margaret Brennan, thank you.